Renewable power and lithium batteries are allowing us to cut the emissions from electricity generation and passenger cars. But that's only a third of the total. To reduce the other two thirds, we need more solutions. Hydrogen has been called the Swiss army knife of decarbonization, because if we make it cheap enough, we can use it for many different things. In order for mankind to get rid of our dependency on hydrocarbons, there has to be many solutions that it has to come and play. Hydrogen can be this missing link between renewable power sources like solar and wind and the hardest to decarbonize problems that we have. A lot of heavy industries for which there's really no other path to decarbonize steel production. Cement manufacturing. Trucks, ships, planes. Hydrogen has an important role to play to get us all the way to net zero. Electric Hydrogen's mission is to use the renewable energy and convert it into hydrogen through the means of water electrolysis, split the water into its element, hydrogen and oxygen, and produce carbon-free hydrogen for industrial decarbonization. This is a technology that can be easily transferred where we can ship our electrolyzer anywhere in the world. All of the companies in this particular industrial space understand the carbon footprint that they are generating and they are open to the change. For steel industry, green hydrogen will play an absolutely critical role. Decarbonization of the global industry is one of the biggest challenges the world has set for itself, and no one can do it alone. The faster we make hydrogen fuels cheaper and more available, the sooner they can replace fossil fuels, and the more likely we are to avoid climate disaster.